I hope y'all had a good week. I hope uh, the Lord has blessed you. And let's do this video here. There's two things I wanted to do recently. Is one is make a lidded box, and two, I wanted to make a Celtic knot. I made one on just a piece of wood just to make sure I understood it and could do it. And so now I'm starting on the box that is going to have in the bottom portion of it the Celtic knot. It's easier for me to show you how it's done than to tell you. But pretty much you just keep doing the same thing over and over and you expect it to come out the way you expect it to and it does or at least that's the way it's supposed to be so pretty much all I'm doing is cutting this and this particular one because it's so much larger than what a lot of people do I didn't go with a 45 degree angle I wound up going with a 25 degree angle because I didn't want it to be bigger or I didn't want it to fill up the entire bottom of the of the box I just you know wanted to get the proportions a little bit narrower than a 45 degree which is what you do when you're doing pins and small things like that and hopefully that'll make sense as we go on so basically the first cut that you make is at the angle that you've chosen could be 45 could be 30 could be 25 and uh, this particular material that I'm using is really sign material and you can get this stuff from pretty much any sign shop it's um, it's called Aluma Core and it goes by different names by dirt, depending on the manufacturer but what you do is you just make your cut and then you flip it over and make the same cut making sure that the blade starts at the back portion of your previous cut and like I said just just watch it'll be a little bit easier now what I was just pointing to is I went to the bandsaw and trimmed that's the first cut what I was showing you that's the second cut and then this is the third cut and then this will be the fourth and final cut and putting the metal on or wood or lamination or veneer stuff like that just a lot of different things pieces of plastic would be a whole lot easier and I'm having to kinda work around the camera I, I don't like doing this but I gave y'all the front row seat so if there's a red splash then well let's don't even talk about that okay so you see the X on each one of them and so this will be the final piece of metal that gets put in there this is a real thin aluminum with a black core kind of a tar kind of stuff or some kind of black plastic I'm not really sure what it's made out of but it it uh, does show up on dark wood. I was kind of afraid of that. Well, now is a good time to talk about the star bond. I'm using the thin CA glue, which adheres to this metal real good and to your gloves. If you noticed, uh, pull my finger off, but it also soaks in the wood and works real good the thin is good for cracks and all kinds of things uh, even stuff around the house this CA glue this particular glue is not made just for wood turning people um, they they use it quite a bit but it's really for any kind of household usage and the good news is that it doesn't dry super fast you do have a little bit of time so you have an activator that you can speed it up if you need to trying to keep everything square and straight you that's why I'm pushing it up against that back wall of course it gets stuck because there's glue there but like I said the main purpose is to 
cut it in the same place. That's what that stop is over there for. And to just flip it each time. And now it's just, I don't know. I think all these hand signals are for the people who don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing the count with my fingers and all that. But anyway, so it does need to kind of sit there for a while and kind of harden up before you start doing this. It doesn't, this, this is a lot more force than you realize uh, on a piece of wood and metal and glue. So I just kind of went a little bit slower in cutting the metal. And when I say metal, it's, it's not solid. It's like this thin, thin sheets, two sheets of aluminum with this plastic rubber, whatever it is, in the center of it. And like I said, I just wanted this to show up in the middle of the bottom of the box. And well, there it's starting to come together. Just need to clean it up a little bit more, and it's that portion of it's done. Trying to add a little re recess in this particular area where it kind of feels comfortable to your hand, and it's just not a, a straight up and down box. It's just, you know, it has a little bit of shape to it. And I could actually go way down. But then that would get into the box portion. And the smaller down you go, the smaller it becomes. And that was what I was trying to get. So now I'm fixing to part it and start on the lid. Now, I actually parted it on the bandsaw. It just it made it easier for me. I didn't need that thing to swing out and hit. I'm afraid it might come apart or not really sure what it would do, but didn't really want to find out. So basically, this is what's left over on the top part of it and starting to do my recess so that I can start forming the mortise and tenon and just want to put a little dome on the inside as opposed to just a flat top. That way if you put something in the box a little bit taller it can go into the into the top of it. Well, the wood that I'm working with is, is walnut, and I bought it, which is something I normally don't do, but I thought, why not buy something that's, you know, somewhat dried and in much better shape than the green wood that I have out in the woods. And as you can kind of see, it goes from light to dark, light to dark, and that's pretty much because it's pretty wet so I'm hoping it's not going to crack and I'm hoping the lid will fit and so anyway well let me rephrase that I want to make sure that the lid fits next week I know it'll fit right now but that's the main thing so anyway just kind of finishing up the top and putting sanding sailor on it I'm probably going to skip some of the sanding. I'm going to try to make this video a little shorter just to see if, if it helps people watch it. Maybe some of the videos I'm doing are just too long. Uh, I, you know, so I, that's just what I'm thinking. We'll see how it works out. So I'm parting it. And now I have the top that I need to flip over and do the top of the top if I can figure out how to work my chuck today and apparently I don't know how to work the chuck actually I just was trying not to break it I didn't want to tighten it up too tight then I'd start all over 
So now I'll just take it easy. I had a, an idea for the top. I saw an inlay that the wood was about the same color on something like this. And I thought, all that work and it doesn't really stand out but I thought well I like that I like the design I like the little really small piece that was showing that it was sticking up a little higher so I decided just to kind of make that and I even kind of undercut it undercut it so that it it appeared that it was a piece added to it and I'm not trying to fool anybody I just I thought it was kind of a neat, subtle, subtle cut. And I thought I was going not to have to show you all this, but I guess I guess I am. <laughs> well, I don't know who did the video. I'm not responsible for anything. All right, so let's get to talking about what happened. So I got the top done, and I am in the process of working finishing up now this is where I messed up I actually held the top on there and it spun and the more it spun I kind of pushed a little harder and that loosened it up a bunch so now it it was perfect and now it doesn't want to stay on there so we'll see with it drying if it gets worse and I may go back and do something later, but it was kind of frustrating because I had it, I had it really good, but anyway, so when I'm putting this Howard's fade and wax on it and letting it dry a little bit and then kind of buffing it a little bit, add a little bit of a luster, I didn't want it really shiny, uh, it's it, it's a good finish. It, it's a wax base finish and it, it looks fine. I really want the focus to be on the Celtic knot and just some older style wood. So now I'm parting this and we'll see if it flies off. Nope, I guess it doesn't. That would have been a spoiler alert. I don't know how many times I've recorded this portion of it and every time I say things that I can't really just let it go out I have to realize that what my main objective is not to be funny my main objective is to is to talk about what I'm doing and what I'm not doing and how things happen and yes now I have a little chip in it but I cleaned it up and I got the bottom all cleaned up well we actually got it done and I have the Celtic knot I think it looks real good I have the box and the bottom is actually recessed a little bit and after several attempts I finally got it Howard's feed and wax worked out good and of course I can't say enough about Starbond there's a link below and just remember that God is good thank you for watching